Hey YouTube, um, just one on that twelve here. Um, um, I'm making a YouTube video about you know what, and what another set of you know unique applications that you know that will be kind of you know another quite useful for your phone. Um, App Planet, sad to say, App Planet is kind of currently down. Uh, I know it sucks. That sucks. And if you want to know what the background noise is, is um, that's probably the washing machine or whatever, the dryer. So excuse me if that kind of bothers you guys. Um, let's get started. Uh, shoot, what case I was trying to show you guys? Um, yeah, you know, a few tweaks, whatever. I, that's why I just named them. Signal booster. Um, yeah, you can boost your signal. You know, edge. Um, get this off of um, App Planet. Um, you know, download the application and click boost. And I boosted my thing. Mine's is already at the um, optimized level, whatever. Yeah, signal has been optimized level so yeah my it wouldn't affect on mine because it's already at max so um yeah you little unique application gotta see, see what's wrong with me hmm yeah I like it yeah it, get, yeah, it does that sometimes um you know say if your signal is kind of messed up like that or whatever um, it's another um, unique application that can help you with that. We have no what? Have no uh, signal. Just go to signal refresh. Tap it, then reset. You. I think it sets your um, your um, sim sim signal and also your Wi-Fi signal, which is useful to save as your Wi-Fi is tweaking. So it was so it would do, it would do that, and you know, saying my service will come right back on. That's very useful when you have no signal at all. Say it's, it's much more better than having to reboot in your phone. So I mean, I still gonna come back in what in a few some few minutes. So um yeah um excuse me signal. I mean, usually come back a little, a little faster than that, but uh, shoot, it'll come back on. Probably just gotta hit that one more time. Well, oh, never mind, never mind, it's back on. So um yeah um yeah uh that's pretty good. Um uh, I know. It's I know screencast, you can record off your phone, you know, screen record, a little bit laggy, but I'm not trying to get to depths of that because I'm, you know, saying sometimes I really do get tired of fumbling with that crap because it does kind of slow down your phone just a little bit. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I, no, yeah, if I had to make this view, Power Max, Power Max. Um, I don't know if I made that review of it before. I think I did. I don't know, but I'll do it again. Power Max, um, uh, it's a good app. Uh, it, the, the application is really useful. Um, it saves battery life too, in a, in a way. Say, for instance, you have like 10% or whatever, you, you can save that up a little. It'll save it'll save a pretty decent percentage of your battery life. Um, I'll go into it right quick. Um, of course, you get this all off of App Planet. Um, you can go on settings. You got you do that down to key too. What you can set you you know set your stuff. You can set you can set all of it. I'm just doing this in there. Battery service. You can um you can toggle all that. You can um you can set you can save so much battery life. So then after that, of course, you push on. It saves all that. It does everything. It moves the wallpaper, wallpaper for your background. Oh, yeah. doing it's doing all that. So um, you know. So yeah, get yeah, get um. So yeah, my phone's going a little bit slow after all that. So yes, um, the also good thing else, good thing about this application, say for instance, you don't even have to even turn this thing on. Sometimes all Mac, once you're on, like you're on a low battery percentage, you you could just um automatically enable it. Um, also, also, you know, say for instance, you're on, you know, you're on 10% of your battery life, and you're trying to, you know, um, say for instance, you're watching a video, 
And once your battery life hit 10%, you know, it shows that thing, that battery too low, you don't have enough energy, it bypasses that and wait until it goes to 1%, you know, you know, to the point it literally shuts off. Um, I feel that, you know, it's, it's pretty useful. Oh yeah, see now you see that, now you see my battery saving, move the background and everything, of course you can turn it back on. I mean, turn it off. Did that just to show you guys how good it is. So, putting all that, putting all my stuff back in, you know. So yeah, very useful application. Very useful. I say you guys should download the one recommend recommendation that you should get this application as well. I'm um, just making it verified that all the changes are complete, you know. Very good application. Um, yeah, very good application. I tell you guys, real good. It'll take a minute. I know it's gonna. I know it's gonna. Um, you know, pop back up back to normal. There it is. All back to normal. Um, one more last application. Um, this is weather weather bug. If you know you're a big fan of checking the weather, and that's what that little icon is the weather. But you download this off of um market. It's just a useful application that shows you about the weather and shows on your um what is it stats bar whatever. So yeah, it show it shows you gives you notices. Um, I recently just found this. Um. You know, check. You know, it's it's real useful. I mean, I rather you know look at the weather right on my um right on my lock. I mean, like right on my stats bar or the status bar, whatever. You know, saying much more better than going through the app. And of course, it changes. You know, each time it change. I mean, you don't got to go to the app and refresh, and it changes automatically. Changes throughout the temperature. You know, so yeah, um, I believe that's another useful application that you guys should definitely get if you're a big fan of you know checking the weather. Which everyone should, you know what I'm saying, instead of going to news and all that. So, yeah. Uh, for the most part, you know, for the most part, um, probably one more. You know, wireless tether. You guys already know how to tether and all that, so I don't need to, I don't need to go back to that. But, oh, yeah, fast reboot. That's another application you guys should definitely get. Say, for instance, you know, um, your phone is a little bit laggy. All you got to do is tap that and um, everything, ref everything, everything. It's like a soft reboot. It, everything resets itself, basically. Every application is running resets. So, uh, yeah, that's a good application too. Of course, you got to put a setting on there to, you know, what I'm saying a dude just one click, one tap, and you know, what I'm saying and it works like that. And I like it better that way. Much more quicker, much more less stressful. And you can set it up so each time you go and boot it, um, clears up. Yeah, it says clear up, you know, you know, um, memory. So yeah. These are pretty useful other useful application that I should you know saying that you guys should get for your Samsung exhibit. One I think one more obviously flashlight, you know saying, you know. Say this is dark time, you know, um, whatever. Download that off in the market, you know, your flashlight. That's another good application too. And it's another one, flashlight plus. No big no big difference, just the same. So yeah, if you guys are big kids, um, you know, I mean, you know, some sometimes when you dark outside, you need to instead of I think it's more better than using a flashlight, you know, um, at your house, you know, what I'm saying you gotta use your phone as a flashlight, you know, got a little got the little flash crap right there, so you know, what I'm saying might as well use it. So um, I give that props, I give this application props because my little brother find found this application not too long ago, and I just you know, saying started using it. I don't really use it a lot, but you know, what I'm saying it is, it, it does come in handy when it's, you know, what I'm saying when it's dark outside or you know your lights turned off, you know, so you know, some simple, you know. So um, yeah, um, I hopefully I gave you useful information. You really enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if I took too much of you guys' time. Hopefully this video made it worth it of you guys. You know what I'm saying? So um, hopefully I didn't make you guys wait a little bit too long to make YouTube videos because I know I've been been out for a while. But hopefully this is worth the wait. So, uh, you know, like I said, comment, rate, subscribe, like the video, have any questions, I'll be more gladly to answer. Um, who I think I'll, wait, hopefully I'll cover that topic of bloatware application, or oh, quick, quick thing about the person who made the, um, about bloatware applications. Bloatware applications are pre, pre-installed, um, applications on your phone. Um, I also do recommend do not remove any of those applications, even though I sometimes I feel that they're a waste of space. 
but you know what I'm saying they have them installed for a reason. I don't, and if you do try to remove any of them, your phone might be brick. So I say do not fuck with that. Just leave that alone. Leave the applications on there that have been pre-installed on your phone already. Don't mess with them. So uh, hopefully you know what I'm saying that answers that person's question. Whoever say which application should you remove your phone. So I say don't do it because. Um, even I don't really know, and I really do not want to try it to mess up anyone's phone or mess up my phone again. So, um, for the you know, saying this, to keep on the safe side, I say do not do it. So you won't mess up your phone and break it, and I'd be screwed. I mean, I, I really don't. Well, I should say this: I really am not, not held responsible for anything that happens to your phone. So I mean, use it at your own risk. So I'm telling you, you know, what I'm saying to be safe with you guys to be fair I say do not remove any applications that are pre-installed on your phone do not remove them just leave them alone you know what I'm saying don't delete them of course just you know use the phone for what is useful you know what I'm saying as they say so um yeah hopefully I gave you good useful information I know I took up too much of you guys time didn't really mean to but you know what I'm saying it's been a while and I want to make sure the video what these two videos I made are most definitely worth the time worth the wait so um until then peace